the Leslie Street Spit is Toronto's best kept secret. A thriving oasis of plant and wildlife that started by accident. This is completely reclaimed land. It was never here before trucks started dumping fill in the 1950s. So we're really talking about a virgin landscape. Um, there was never any trees intentionally brought here, but nature has a remarkable way of, um, of taking over. The five kilometre long peninsula was built 60 years ago to provide harbour expansion. When the expected increase in shipping didn't come, it became a dumping ground for construction waste. But over the years, nature has seized the initiative. Now 400 plant species live here, while an abundance of wildlife thrives among wildflower meadows, forests and marshland built by the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority. Volunteers help monitor various species. There have been over the years of the park about 315 different species seen in the park, which really surprises most people. On weekdays, trucks dump soil and building waste that meet strict guidelines in the lake or on the spit's southern half. Tommy Thompson Park comprises the northern half, open to the public at weekends for cycling, fishing and bird watching. We've probably seen 30 species of birds. You know, and we're right, right next to uh, one of the, the largest city in, in Canada, right, right in it. So it's, it's spectacular. Uh, as interested in wildlife photography, especially with birds and living in Toronto, this is a really fantastic place to be. Bird bander Bronwyn Dalziel wants similar havens built elsewhere. We have cities all around uh, where the birds used to, to go and so we've replaced swamps, we've replaced shoreline with cities and there's nowhere really for the birds to go except for the odd park here and there. Uh, but one way around that is to make new land like here and, uh, and make more habitat for them. December's UN Global Summit on Climate Change will see leading countries discuss the environment. If this happy marriage of urban expansion and a thriving ecosystem impresses delegates, projects like the Leslie Street Spit might one day become second nature.